I've had clients say to me, well, it's, it's not really that my genes, it's my epigenetics that matter. It's how those genes marinate. It's how those genes live. And of course that's true to an extent, mm-hmm. but I would love for you to clarify the relationship between functional genomics is operating manual as you've, as you've just described so eloquently and the intersection of epigenetics and how those two operate or how those two influence each other. Indeed. So very quickly, as a quick but accurate definition, epigenetics refers to anything, epi, that which is above genetics, refers to anything that influences your genetic makeup. And here what we're speaking of influences your genetic makeup at the level of expression. And this is the key. You see, many people and many, you know, even we might say experts, try to make it seem that your epigenetics, because that's the thing that will influence your expression of your genetic makeup, that really all of the emphasis is on epigenetics. And many consumers and ill-informed individuals walk away from this with the, with the belief that, well, ultimately my particular genetic variation or type doesn't matter because all that matters is how I'm influencing it. And actually this is an incorrect perspective. So what is epigenetics? Epigenetics is how we express our genes. So for example, you see Stephanie, Dr. Estima, we've got 22,000 genes, rough give or take, 22,000 genes, which means 22,000 individual instructions that are used to orchestrate the wonder and the miracle of human cells human organs, and then in totality, the human individual, 22,000 genes. But what you'd be surprised to know is at any given point in time, right now, any given point in time, in any given cell type in the body, my skin cells versus my retinal cells versus my cardiac cells versus my lung, my liver, my brain cells, and so on and so forth, they all have the same 22,000 genes, by the way, But they're using, they're expressing, they're using the instructions of these 22,000 genes at different times and in different numbers. Heart cells might use a subset of those 22,000 genes, and my skin cells might use a different subset. This is the first thing we need to understand, that our cells use potentially different parts of our operating manual, number one. Number two, that our cells, any given cell, Clearly, therefore, is not expressing or using all 22,000 genes all at once at any given point in time. We, our cells are very efficient. We turn on and off genes, and we'll talk about this, Stephanie, later as we get into female hormone control and metabolism, but our cells and our organs and our body turns on certain genes at the right time so that that job can get done. Then we turn off those genes when we don't want that job getting done. This is key to energy conservation and the circadian rhythm. We are circadian creatures. Our body does certain things at certain times for optimal function and does not do other things at other times. And were they to do certain jobs that have to get done? But were they to do those jobs at the wrong time in the wrong place? That's what is actually the foundation of many illnesses. Epigenetics, therefore, describes when and how a certain gene will be expressed. In other words, when and how that instruction encoded in that gene will be used. And that is radically important 